A report from the British Ministry of Defense's Defense Intelligence Services, published on November 3, 2024, reveals that approximately 10,000 combat soldiers from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK, have been deployed to Russia. Many of these troops are believed to be positioned in the strategically important Kursk region, indicating a significant development in the military partnership between Russia and North Korea. This deployment comes shortly after the Russian state Duma ratified the Comprehensive Strategic Partnership Treaty on October 24, 2024, formalizing a mutual defense agreement that not only solidifies the alliance but also provides North Korea with an international ally willing to bypass sanctions. The treaty emphasizes North Korea's support for Russia's military operations in Ukraine, which have primarily involved armed supplies. In return, North Korea benefits from the economic lifeline provided by a powerful ally. This growing partnership allows both nations to enhance their military capabilities while presenting a united front against Western sanctions and influence. The U.S. intelligence community has corroborated the British report, confirming that an estimated 10,000 North Korean soldiers have been stationed in Russia. Concerns are mounting within the Pentagon regarding Russia's potential plans to deploy these troops in active combat scenarios near the Ukrainian border. The Kursk region, a site of intense military engagement since August, is seen as a likely operational area for the DPRK forces. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has denounced the deployment of North Korean troops as a significant escalation in Russia's ongoing conflict with Ukraine. This rhetoric signals the increasing international alarm over the deepening ties between Moscow and Pyongyang and the potential for a more complex conflict in Ukraine. Recent video evidence has surfaced, indicating that North Korean soldiers are being outfitted with Russian military gear and participating in training exercises alongside Russian forces. Footage geolocated to the garrison of the 127th Motor Rifle Division in Sergivka suggests that these troops are undergoing joint training maneuvers, reinforcing speculation about their imminent deployment to the Ukrainian front lines. The Korean People's Army, KPA, with an active duty force exceeding 1.2 million and approximately 6 million reserves, is among the largest military forces globally. Known for their strict discipline and high resilience, DPRK soldiers are trained for high-intensity conflicts, guerrilla tactics, and infiltration, skills that may prove advantageous in the Ukrainian theater. Despite their strengths, interoperability challenges loom large. The lack of prior joint exercises and limited experience in multinational operations could hinder North Korean troops' effectiveness on the battlefield. Difficulties with Russian equipment and command structures, alongside language barriers, may complicate communication and operational cohesion. The implications of DPRK troops deploying to Russia are profound, not only for the conflict in Ukraine but also for global stability. While the addition of North Korean forces offers Russia substantial manpower, the operational challenges they face could restrict their immediate combat effectiveness. Nevertheless, this alliance marks a notable shift in global military alignments, reflecting a strengthening coalition of states opposing Western influence. As Russia and North Korea continue to deepen their military ties, the potential for escalating tensions on the global stage increases. The deployment of North Korean troops may not only alter the dynamics of the Ukrainian conflict, but also reshape broader international relations in a world increasingly divided by geopolitical rivalries.